and I believe his word. And I He's a Fort Campbell soldier who believes the world is in its final days. That's why I'm going to protect myself with the helmet. I'm going to put that helmet on and protect myself. The word of God. Staff Sergeant Marcus Rogers has more than 400,000 followers on Facebook who watch and comment on his self-recorded mini-sermons. I'm going to be all the man that God has called me to be, and I'm going to win millions of souls for Jesus. He's not an army chaplain, but he's often in uniform, describing the battle between God and the devil using military equipment and dramatic videos. Oh, you haven't been praying. Oh, you haven't been fasting. He just gets in there and he cuts you, and he takes away some of your joy. An army spokesman said Rogers' posts are not against policy despite criticizing President Obama and rants against homosexuality. Look at this, the gay people talk, just trying to invade everything, everything. The devil's voice is loud and clear. And but it's what happened on this day when Rogers baptized a fellow soldier that has raised questions about the tragic death of Army Specialist Dafal Ali. He drowned in flash flooding on July 8th. Rogers briefly posted the pictures on his Facebook page showing him baptizing Ali the same day he died in the same creek on Fort Campbell where he drowned. Fort Campbell news releases didn't mention the baptism and said Ali was swept away by strong currents. Search crews recovered his body five days later. Ali was born in Iraq and worked as a translator before joining the army and moving to Fort Campbell. The case sheds light on religious interactions here on post. We talked to a close friend of Ali's who said Ali was a Muslim who had been attending a Christian church and was planning to convert. About that same time, Rogers posted this text conversation he had with a Muslim soldier at Fort Campbell. The soldier told Rogers, I will convert from Islam to Christian, but do not inform anyone, saying he didn't want other Muslim soldiers to know. And I'm trying to pick up every soul that I can because that is what matters. Souls are the heartbeat of God. Fort Campbell will only say the circumstances surrounding Ali's accidental death are under investigation. They refuse to discuss what role the baptism played or if Rogers had permission to perform it. But Rogers posted that my heart is so broken and urged people to pray for Ali's children, his wife, and our unit as a whole. The only opinion I care about is the opinion of God. One day I'm going to have to stand before him and I want him to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Rogers didn't respond to us, but posted on his Facebook page he did nothing wrong. He also said the whole thing was caught on video and that he has been questioned by his superiors in Ali's death.